Like I said earlier, there's an uh, extremely diverse amount of play styles available on the roster in this game that are viable. Right. Because this team isn't throwing crap at the wall to see what sticks. They get it. The producer the of this game, I don't know if you know this, but, yeah, Nitsuma, the director of this game, he plays. He's not bad. Right. It's not like, you know, no offense, but it's not like, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, harsh words there. Yeah. Oh, they might have us escorted out here. These guys, <laughs> these got this team. He said it. He said it. <laughs> this team really knows what they're doing. They really do. Uh, and it shows because every build seems to get more and more balanced. And there are some weird choices in there, but this looks like eventually the they seem to make sense. Then you can count. So what about the new characters that they announced today? Uh, Phoenix and Hagger. What about, what about Green Goblin? Green Goblin's not real. You got not trolled. Real. Really? That's a screenshot of Super Scroll. It's funny. Open your eyes. It's funny. <laughs> uh, that was sent to I me. wasn't fooled for even a second. That was sent to me via text message. I yeah. was like, damn. I was like, dang, that's, that's how important this is. Yeah. He's, not, he's, he's not real. That'd be cool, though, because that'd be six green-skinned characters on the Marvel side. There's already five. <laughs> So yeah, um, what were we talking about? Diverse okay. play styles, there's a lot of them. There's rush down, there's zoning, there's grappling, which is actually viable now. How is grappling viable now? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, look, look at Zangie right? in the Marvel game. They just kind of threw him in there. Right. You know? Hey, Justin. Marcus, Marcus here. You'll play Justin back then when he's done. Everybody at home, I believe, wants to see Justin Wong play some Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So that's what we're going to have set up for you guys. Uh, Justin is over in the corner playing Marn right now. And it's single limb, so... Okay, so I think this match... This guy's Captain America, sick. Justin, you're up next up here. Yeah, we're gonna put you guys up here. Yeah. So yeah, grappling, right? You throw Zangief in a game like Marvel versus Capcom 1 or MSH, right. whatever. Not gonna do a they, whole lot of damage. Maybe they could have. They, they would need to make engine considerations for him. In Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, they experimented with their grapplers by letting you combo into command throws. So not only can you use them in combos, but you can use them as throws normally. And what ended up happening was a lot of the grapplers would have resets into the throws out of their combos. So instead of getting the scaled grab, you, you would let the, the combo damage. drop, uh -huh. and they have one frame to do something, and most characters have no escape, and you just grab them and get the full damage. Gotcha. Now, in the Marvel series games, not in Tatsunoko, it's been more customary to have a throw as a combo starter rather uh -huh. than a combo ender. Right, because so in this game, afterwards. you can combo out of a lot of throws. <laughs> Even non-command throws. They, they are combo starters in a lot of cases. Um, try to, you, know, you know Magneto's old throw, where he clumps you in that crap, and then right. he's got that. It's a gotcha. combo starter. It's awesome. And uh, there are a lot of... Uh -huh. And, uh, like, Hagger has a launcher that's a hit. So he could just, you know, punch, punch, launcher. But he also has a running bear grab that is a launcher. Oh, so wow. you block so two attacks, then he runs in, and he launches you with that, and he gets his full combo off. Oh, okay. Tons of damage. And he'll probably have, like, a, a zero-frame uh, level three command throw to mess up people with. All right, Justin's playing here. Yeah, we have Justin on the left playing Storm, Trish, and Chun. Yeah, he's trying to get the hang of Storm. She's uh, pretty different from Marvel 2, but uh, she can do some of the same things. <laughs> Justin's just trying to be cheesy with Typhoon at this point. Now, uh, her whirlwind projectiles are way buffed. It the, seems like it. Like the Typhoon one yeah. that comes from the floor takes right. a long time, but the yeah. one that goes forward is insane. Right, like super I was, fast. I was messing around with Storm briefly, and yeah. you know I couldn't do a combo to save my life. But right. My my, my Typhoons were they did a great deal right. of damage. The Storm has two options at the end of a combo. She can do the lightning attack into the lightning super, or she can just ground you, land, and hailstorm. Hailstorm oh. OTGs now. Wow. You get more damage that way, but you lose DHC options. Uh, okay. So you got to kind of pick. Okay. The characters, are, the characters are very versatile. You can put together a lot of interesting team strategies. A lot of characters have multiple options for ending a combo with a different super or technique that'll lead into the next character, better or worse.
you know, I just have to chime in and say, it does really make me happy, you know, playing Marvel 1 to see characters in this game such as Thor and Arthur. You know, that was yeah. originally a Sith. Yeah, exactly. Marvel 1, Marvel 1, they were non-playable characters. Marvel 1 was my first competitive game. Oh, okay, yeah. Where I lost my cherry. <laughs> 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 Strider War Machine. All day. Good. Yeah, fun stuff. Yeah. Now, this is, this Trisha's weird because she has, like, options to keep out uh, rush characters, and she has like good rush down, but not great rush down. Okay. So when she fights a character like Chris, her keep away gets beat clean because he has like awesome guns and stuff like that that just beat yeah. her projectiles for so, free. So Chris is a good uh, keep away character, right? Very good, yeah. But he's not like Cable. Cable controls the air. Cable controls, yeah. Chris controls the ground, okay. and he does it well. Was that one game or two out of three? All right. Marn and who else? Dios. Marn and Dios. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have blah, 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 blah. we're gonna have Marn. Okay, this is the best two out of three, Marn. We got Dios X versus Marn. Should be good. Normal. Normal. No, I should explain that. Uh, in the old Marvel Engine games, when you got knocked down, you could input a quarter circle down with a punch button and do a tech roll right. and avoid OTGs. Yeah. And if they predicted it, they could kind of be where you were going to get up and mix yeah. you up, whatever. Uh, this uses more what TVC used. You have three options when you are knocked down. You can either press nothing and you'll stand straight up, or you can hold left or right to roll left or right. You cannot get up faster. The OTGs are free. They're part of the combo. You just need to consider them part of the combo. It was either that or the developers give everyone an air super so they can finish an air combo with the super. This just seemed more elegant, I think. But on that note, you'll see people do a tech roll once in a while. That's a forced tech roll. You can't input that. That just happens when you get knocked down on your back too close to the ground. Instead of bouncing, you hit the ground, you tumble backwards, and you stand up. That is how you mess people up in this game because they have no choice have to get up right there. That's when you call the low assist and hit him with the overhead and create an unblockable. Or hit him with the throw mix up. Right. Okay, I got There's a lot of potential for, for shenanigans right there. Like a lot of people will see ground bounce and wall bounce combos and be like, oh, that's an infinite, I'll just do it again. But you can't. You only get one ground bounce and one wall bounce per combo. And then the next one, it just disregards. It doesn't work anymore. Okay, that makes sense. To prevent using infinites and stuff. Right, right. I've been following this game extremely closely. That's good. <laughs> yeah, when the assist characters get hit, they don't take extra damage, but the combo doesn't scale. It doesn't scale. E either that or it doesn't scale the same. They okay, take more damage, for okay. sure. Quite a bit more. And they, they juggle properly, too. Okay. Like if, if I launch you and your assist at the same time, I'll get the whole combo on both of you. Good. Yeah. Yeah, and then for Marvel 2 fans, if you snap back and assist, it flies off the screen. So double snaps don't work. They won't set up any easy launcher infinites or anything. That's like good. That. That's necessary. Yeah. I don't think they wanted that. Yeah, no. Yeah. We also have Magneto Storm, Psylocke, this, and Marvel 2. So how do you activate the, when the characters start glowing red? X Factor. You activate that by pressing all four of the primary attacks. That's weak, medium, hard, and launcher button. What right. that do? That's going to give you a, like a Roman cancel if you're familiar with Guilty yeah. Gear, or if you're a Street Fighter 4 player, it's like a focus attack cancel. Okay. It resets you to a neutral state so you can follow up. Okay. But there are other benefits. You get a speed up, you get a power up, oh, wow. and your red life heals slowly. So what are the drawbacks? Are there any you only get one per match. Oh, okay. And there are three versions of it. If you use it with all three characters alive, it's the level one. If you use it when one character's dead, you get it for 20 seconds instead of 10, and it's more potent. And if you use it when your last man is alive, 30 seconds, and it's even more potent. So it, it's your comeback mechanic, yeah, I must say, but the comeback factor. You, you can use it at the beginning. Like, if I tag you right away, I might use it right away to kill a character, because that oh, might be worth it to okay. me. Okay. But you might want to save it for your last dude. Right. So. Yeah. You gotta, gotta form a strategy around where you want to use your X Factor. Make a judgment call. Is it worth getting the kill now, mm -hmm. or should I save it to heal up later? And what do you think it does when you have all, all the characters in there? It's like 10 seconds, 10% okay. power okay. boost. Okay. And it's not as potent, but it's still, still nice. You still get the cancel. Okay. 
The cancel is important because it, it works on supers. So you can, you can DHC to yourself, basically. So your own super, cancel, and then another one of your own super. It's easy with some characters. Like uh, Deadpool can do guns, cancel guns. But Iron Man can't do Proton Cannon, cancel Proton Cannon. It's too slow. Yes. He has to find some other option. There can be only one winner. Trophy one. Go for Trump. All right, Marn's going in there with his Viper against Deus Ex's Iron Man. Iron Man very fast in this game. He has a lot of the flavors of the old Marvel 2 and Marvel 1 Iron Man and War Machine, but on crack, really. A lot of speed. This is definitely one of the Deus' Ooh. characters in Marvel 2. Yeah, Deus missing his air combo that would have killed, uh, I think, Viper, yeah. And that would have been a good kill because Deus going yeah. in there. As you can see, the red life heals very fast. Viper will be at full probably in 15 seconds. Oh, that's good. All right, we got Hailstorm for some chip. It does considerable chip. If you do level 3 X-Factor, it increases the chip, too. If you do level 3 X-Factor and then do her Hailstorm, it's like 30% on block. That's good. Yeah, it's hilarious. So now I'll feel like whenever, because I'm, I'm get the feeling when I pick this game up, I'm going to get beat back. So when I get down to my last character, I'll learn one character and just save my X-Factor for him. That's yeah, good. I mean, it seems intimidating because you have to learn three characters, right. but on the whole, learning one character in this is easier than in Street Fighter. Yeah, uh, okay. Wait a minute. It cut most of it. Not, it didn't go all the way up. Did you see the damage? On no, Marn's combo? Yes. Yeah. I mean, the assist almost died in one combo. Yeah, that happened. You gotta get oh. Magneto out of there. Yep. Good tag. Right, Storm so, is in. Yeah, I mean, if. If that were me at this point, I would try to run away the best as I can so yeah. I can gain life. X-Factor's up. It's going to heal the point character and the assist. Marn Whoa. almost avoids the chip because the Hailstorm doesn't oh hit the whole God. screen anymore. Okay. And oh, we're in there. Dio Sex. Marn's shaking his head. Should have picked Wesker. Yeah. yeah, that did a lot of heal. <laughs> he's, he can still do it with Zero. You can see that X is flashing next to Zero's name. That yeah. means he's still got it available. Okay, okay. He can still make a comeback. You can't build meter whipping normals in this game. Was, was the X-Factor in the uh, E3 build? Yeah, it, was di it worked have, differently, but it was there. Okay, I have never seen it used until now. I think it's like very it's a very important part of the game. Yeah. You need to be aware of it when you right. start playing. Now he can activate it and just go to work. Yeah, Marn should have activated it right there, but he's looking for the combo first. Okay. I think he's too far away. Oh, oh it worked. Oh my goodness. He wanted to get two of those. He could have yeah. X-Factored and done another one. So and now he's going to eat it from Proton Cannon. The zero special right there. Can he control the distance, whether it's... No. Or, uh, he, and the punch on the ground? Yeah. Nothing. No hitbox. Okay. So it's all about the rain doing the OTG. So you okay. want to get the hard knockdown, land next to him, and then boom. Right. I'm going to hop on for a little bit oh, yeah, here. No, no, no. What's up, Snow? This is Snow. Great to see you. You know, thank you guys for this event. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad everyone's having fun. You know, hopefully the stream... We got about... Uh, let me look. We got about five... 5,300 people. Wow. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Come to showyoucan.com. It's rad. Also, Capcom <laughs> Unity. Capcom Unity is super rad. So uh, I should mention, too, yes. if you're on Unity, you're on the stream, you're watching from Capcom Unity, or if you haven't, are you, you giving away points? I'm going to give away some Ooh, points. Oh, I'm not even at home to redeem them. It's, uh, it's Unity FTW. All caps, all one word. Unity for the win. Exactly. OK. I take Put it. that in, you'll get some points. Nice. Is that worth 5,000 again? No, this is oh. only worth 1,000. Oh, that's so good. I'm not going to flood the system with that many points. Gotcha. So tell me a little bit about what's going on here. I'm not a huge Marvel guy, but right. I've been playing today button mashing like crazy. So. I'm going to call it like I see it. Right now, Marn is crutching out. He went back to Dante because he doesn't think he can win. And he wants to win. So he went to Dante for that. Dios X is trying to take Marn out. Marn gets the air throw. Doesn't really lead to anything for Dante, unfortunately. Marn's going to just try and get into pressure, call Viper assist, and mix it up. And he's going to do his mainstay Dante combo until he wins. I mean, that's why he picked Dante, because he wasn't feeling comfortable anymore when he took a loss. You know, i got to point this out, too. This match looks somewhat familiar to me, because they actually played, I think, four times at Comic-Con. Yeah. They were trying to win that, that stupid stick. Right. <laughs> and Marn won with this. <laughs> exactly. Doing the Dante combo. Dio Sex trying to play the Magneto Storm to get that Marvel 2 flavor, but they're just so different. It's, he's not ready. He doesn't have the hang of it yet. This X-Factor could save him. 
Magneto healing up slowly. Oh, that hit is gonna, yep, that ends Magneto. Storm will still retain the benefits of the X Factor, so there's a chance. Gonna have to get in there. Okay, didn't finish off the combo. If he had finished the combo with the aerial S attack, it would have grounded Zero. Right. He could have done the Hailstorm for an OTG. Probably would have killed Zero. Zero is a low health character. Oh, Martin mashing out the level three to beat Hailstorm. Very smart stuff. What we expect to see from a top player. DHC and the Dante oh. for the chip kill. Marn takes the game. All right. Good crutching, Marn. Yeah. You know, Marn's back to Dante. That's his new team. I'm, I'm going to keep you on here commentating with me. No problem. Your match. No We're problem. Gonna, let's put on Justin and Steve. Hey, Justin, Steve. All right. Where's Justin? Justin, Jay Wizzle. All right. He was playing with 